Um, and all praises due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you brothers preaching, preaching the word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Um, <clears throat> it's just a little uh, edification on, uh, you know, the Lord coming back for his elect of Israel which are the Israelites only, you know, not heathen nations or other other nations claiming to be fit for the kingdom. Um, the first scripture I'm going to start out with was, uh, I'm going to use this particular Bible in general because I got a few words to look up, but um, I'm going to look up. First Kings eleven and thirty six. <clears throat> and I'll start at uh thirty-four. And this is uh the prophet Or not the prophet, this is uh, foretelling Solomon's uh, future. I'll start at 34. It says, How bet I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David my servant's sake, whom I chose because he kept my command commandments and my statutes. So this is talking about... Uh, you know, when Solomon went off and uh, he didn't receive any punishment in that lifetime, you know, he lived to his, his old age and died without uh, ever being punished, you know, but the, the Most High said, how bet I will not take the whole kingdom out of his hand, but I will make him prince all the days of his life for David, my servant's sake, whom I chose because he have kept my commandments and my statutes. But I will take the kingdom out of his son's hand and will give it unto thee, even ten tribes. And unto his son will I give one tribe that David my servant may have a light always before me in Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen me to put my name there. So, <clears throat> it's been foretold to him that, you know, the kingdom was going to be taken out of Solomon's hand and given to the son of David, if you can receive that in the spirit, which is, uh, Yahweh you know, uh, if you can receive that in the spirit, rather than a no, no, you know, so the one tribe that, uh, and unto his son will I give one tribe, is the tribe of Judah, you know, that David, my servant, may have a light always before me in Jerusalem, the city which I have chosen me to put, chosen me to put my name there. So that's talking about the coming of uh, Yahweh Shai, you know. And I will take thee, and thou shalt reign according to all that they, thou souls desire, and shalt be king over Israel. That's Yahweh Shai. And it shall be if thou wilt hearken unto all that I command thee and wilt walk in my ways and do that is right in my sight to keep my statutes and my commandments as David my servant did. 
that I will be with thee and build thee a sure house as I built for David and will give Israel unto thee. And I will for this afflict the seed of David, but not for ever. You know, so that seed of David that he was going to afflict was going to be Yahawashai, but not forever, you know, because this, this time around, when he, when he returns, you know, he's going to build back the house of David into his uh, right, right state, so to speak, brothers, and um, rule over it correctly. I'm going to go to Amos, uh, Amos 9 and 11. And it says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of old. So that's what Yahweh is coming to do. You know, he's the one that's going to fill in the gaps. And when he fills in that gap, What's going to happen is uh, the elect of Israel and these men are going to stand up and we're going to we're going to do what's foretold of us in the scriptures to do so that we can take this kingdom away from this wicked, you know, devil and get it back to the, uh, the ways of old, you know. And it says, uh, keep on reading, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathens, which are called by my name, said the Lord, that doeth this. And it says, behold, the days come, say the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seeds, and the mountain shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, said the Lord thy power. So with all that being said, you know, uh, these other nations are not going to be co-ruler rulership with us. They're going to be our slaves. Edom is going to be the head slave for a thousand years. And then we're going to make sure that they perish, you know, off the face of the planet forever and ever with the Lord's help. You know, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, His help. Um, like I said, it, it, he's the, the the one that's going. He is the one that's going to close up the breach. Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, with the prophets and the 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 elect men of Israel are going to govern with this with Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, I'm going to go to Luke one. And six. Seven nine one and seventy nine, brothers. Uh, this is just you know. I'm still at 78. Through the tender mercy of our power, which is Yahweh, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to give our feet into the way of peace.
And once again, this is just uh, it's talking about you know Yahweh Shai coming and giving us that that uh, that light, that water, you know. Uh, and let's look up this word peace because that's a big factor right there, you know. And it goes a uh, state of national tranquility, exemption from the rage and havoc of war, peace between individuals, i.e., harmony, concord, security, safety, prosperity, felicity. Because peace and harmony make and keep things safe and prosperous, which is true. And then it has of the Messiah's peace. And then it says, A, the way that leads to peace equals salvation. Uh, and and per, not parenthesis, but uh, I forget the name of these things. But it says salvation. It escapes my mind right now. You know, but he's the one that's going to show us the way to our salvation through the prophets and the elect men of Israel, you know, and basically there is no, uh, no other way to put it, you know, these other nations on the face of the earth that's outside the 12 tribes of Israel are not going to be co-rulers. They're not going to have a say in the new kingdom that comes. Uh, they're going to be servants. Every last nation, you know. And then Edom being the head nation in servitude will get it worse than all other nations for a thousand years, you know. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. And we almost up out of here. Shalom.